Okay, this is actually my favorite baby item of all time, especially for traveling. And it is the Guava Lotus little pack and play. 15 pounds, so pretty light. You can see it has the little backpack straps. This is actually perfect for me um, traveling alone. So when you have the Lotus on your back, you can baby wear it in front. Then you even have room to like, push a little suitcase um, alongside if you're like alone in the airport. One of the things that I was super excited about with this is it's actually um, the right size for a carry-on. So you know, if you have a super long trip, you have a layover, you can just bring this with you. You don't have to check it. Um, like I showed you, wear it on your back. And then you can just plop it up in between or while you're waiting on your flight and then baby has a little area to like stretch out or kind of get some of the wiggles out. Um, and it's a contained area, so maybe you can actually sit and have a little break for a minute in between flights as well. This, these straps, you can actually unhook them and they tuck in to this little pocket which is super nice um, if you're gonna check it. So like when you're checking it, maybe you're worried about these getting caught or hooked on something. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. They just tuck right in there. And then you can carry it kind of like a duffel, just like this, so it's like a guava lotus. Um, so yeah, next, let's actually open it up and set it up. We'll unzip it first. And then you can see it's got kind of two pieces in here. Pull them out. It's got the mattress piece, which kind of protects the actual crib when it's in the bag. And then it's got the crib piece right here. Um, setting this up is not too bad. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. So you pull it out. You pull the legs out first. Yeah, we'll pull all the little legs out. And then they'll clip. So we gotta actually flip it over. And then we'll kind of give it a little shake, open it up. And as long as everything is locked, you are good to go. And then the next piece that you'll do, you'll take the mat, grab this, and then you'll actually put it down inside of there. So you can see it's opened up. And then we'll just pop the mat in there and there are actually little strappies on the corner that you'll want to pull through and hook so that's kind of what holds the mattress down so let me see if I can do this one-handed yeah I got it so you'll see there's like a little hook and that'll hook right in there and so you have to do that on every corner my husband actually claims that's optional <laughs> I tend to be, you know, a little more nervous. So I'm like, yeah, just drop it in. And then they also sell sheets. It does say that this sheet is optional. You know, you want baby to be cozy. So I say go ahead and throw a sheet in there. And then the last thing is kind of how you get in and out. So this is actually great. Oh, I did miss a leg. I thought I did. There we go. Um, so this is actually great for uh, bigger kids because you can see it's right on the floor so it doesn't have the same like weight limits as a pack and play would um, and then you can just open it up a lot of folks say like for co-sleeping and stuff like that or maybe they want to kind of snuggle with their kid right before bed they'll actually climb in there and do a little bit of snuggling and then you know kind of get them to sleep and then they can kind of just creep out quietly. Um, the only thing we haven't tried yet is putting this with a slumber pod, which is actually usually what we use. So yeah, I guess that's the next step.